Having microphone issues on your Steam Deck? You're not alone. Many users encounter problems with both the built-in and external microphones. This guide will walk you through the essential input settings to properly configure your microphone. Understanding the Steam Deck's dual-mode audio system is crucial. Gaming mode offers a streamlined interface with limited audio controls, while desktop mode provides a full Linux desktop with comprehensive audio management. In gaming mode, navigate to settings, then audio. Adjust the microphone input level, typically between 70 and 85%. Make sure allow desktop audio in games is enabled. Test your microphone using Steam voice chat to confirm it's working. If problems persist, switch to desktop mode. Go to system settings, then audio to configure input devices and levels. For advanced settings, use PAVA control. Test with the built-in audio recorder to verify functionality. Always test your microphone configuration in both modes. In gaming mode, use Steam voice chat or in-game voice features. In desktop mode, use the built-in audio recorder or system audio tests to verify everything is working properly. Remember these key configuration points. Set your microphone input levels between 70 and 85%. Enable desktop audio in games for better compatibility. And always test your setup in both gaming and desktop modes to ensure everything works correctly. When basic microphone settings don't resolve your Steam Deck audio issues, it's time to implement driver and system level fixes. These solutions target the underlying software components that manage audio processing. The first step is updating SteamOS to the latest version. Navigate to System Settings and check for software updates. This ensures you have the most recent audio driver stability improvements and compatibility enhancements. Next, reset the audio services by restarting Pipewire components. These commands restart the audio processing pipeline and can resolve many software-related microphone issues. For more persistent issues, use an aggressive reset approach. Kill the pulse audio process completely and restart it. This provides a deeper reset of the audio system. These commands work by restarting the audio processing components. Pipewire handles modern audio routing, while Pulse Audio manages compatibility with older applications. Software-related problems account for approximately 60% of all reported microphone issues on Steam Deck. This makes system-level fixes highly effective for most users experiencing audio problems. Remember these key commands, sudo steamos update for system updates, system CTL restart commands for audio services, and pulse audio kill and start for aggressive resets. These system-level fixes resolve the majority of Steam Deck microphone issues. 